Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Gaming and welcome to my Black Ops Cold War. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what happens once you reach Prestige 1, what changes, what happens, what unlocks, and how is it different from the previous Call of Duty Prestige system. And anytime if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to see for the like button for everything Call of Duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on notification bell, and join the notification squad. Let's get around to it. And let's start off with the biggest change in Prestige in Black Ops Cold War, and that is you no longer have to go to your combat record and Prestige from there. Yes, you heard that correctly, you no longer need to manually Prestige, it is done automatically, it's a smooth transition now, once you complete your 50 five military ranks in the game boom it just appears prestige one this was the game that did it but unfortunately for me i actually didn't get the logo or the notification that i actually reached prestige one which is quite unfortunate but you will get it now i'm not sure if that was due to me playing hardcore because i was doing some camo challenges it should appear that you've prestige one two whatever prestige the logo should appear in the middle of the game but for me like i said it didn't appear which was quite a shame but that's okay all you guys need to know is that it will appear and it's an automatic transition you no longer need to actually go and manually prestige like prestige in prestige previous Call of Duty games. But that's not it because there is one more change that happened and that is next to your name you will forever get the logo of your prestige. Yes, we've been asking for this in the previous Call of Duty games but it is finally here next to your gamer tag or name you will always have that prestige emblem. You don't have to select it, it will always be there. You can select a different emblem but next to your name you will always have that logo of your prestige whether it's prestige 1, 2, 3, whatever. You will always have that logo next to your name. Now in terms of what happens and what changes when you prestige, the two that I just mentioned are pretty much all that happens but do not worry because we get some awesome awesome rewards with that as well first of all just like you're seeing in front of you right now we get an emblem that you can use like i said this is different from the logo that's next to your name but like you guys can see when i go over the emblem it's glitched out but there it goes on the right hand you can see it that's what you get i'm not even done yet because there is more you also get a sticker that you can use on your weapons to show off your hard work and grind in prestiging you also get a sticker for your weapon not gonna lie that's quite awesome and lastly and the biggest thing is you also get a prestige key now at the moment in Black Ops Cold War the prestige keys are kind of useless because there's no way to use them but do not worry that will all change come December 10th when season 1 comes out we will have a prestige shop and in that prestige shop you can actually use those prestige keys to buy legacy items and for those of you who don't know what the legacy items are well they are basically the old logos or emblems of the prestige that were in all the Black Ops games and once that prestige shop comes around you can use those prestige keys to actually unlock some of the old legacy items and use them in Black Ops Cold War and I'm not gonna lie I'm quite excited for that however However, just a quick note to actually be able to use those legacy items you must reach prestige master in that season otherwise you cannot use those legacy items you can buy them but you just cannot show them off you cannot use them and this is all that happens and all the rewards you unlock once you prestige not gonna lie I do like the automatic transition it's quite awesome other than manually prestiging but yeah by the time you guys are watching this video Nuketown is already out when I'm recording this Nuketown is not out we still have a couple hours left to go but yeah I, I know actually this has nothing to do with prestige mode <laughs> So yeah, expect a lot of videos, Nuketown, other than Nuketown, everything you got in Black Ops Cold War as usual will be on this channel. So if you want to watch more, make sure to click the video on the screen. Anytime if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to see for the like button for everything Call of Duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and join the notification squad. And I'll catch you guys later.